So, countless times, Mark and I have told you the importance of having date night. But you're worried to go for a date night because you feel like you don't have any more jazz with your partner. You don't have what to talk about. You're going to go there, waste money, talk about kids and house helps, which you can do at home. I'm here to share tips on how to have constructive conversation with your partner that will grow your intimacy and your connection as a couple. Let's go. weekend i attended a marriage fellowship and they shared an acronym that just lit up so many light bulbs in my head and i knew that i had to share with my people it's easy for us in these seasons of our lives where we have little babies we're trying to grow our careers invest grow our income and our stamp in the world and it's easy for our relationships to become centered around that it's easy for us to have a children-centered marriage, a career-centered marriage, a business-centered marriage, an investment-centered marriage, and that's not what we're looking for. Because when these things get out, when the businesses have stabilized, when we are rich and have reached the, the net worth that we want, we don't want the marriage to be empty. You look at each other and now there's nothing. The kids are out of the nest and we're no longer connected. This is where many people break up this is where many people have divorces during this stage when we're busy and the stage after when the busyness has stopped so the acronym that we learned is kiss both in the literal sense but also when you break down so the k stands for keep doing now it's an opportunity for you to tell your partner what are the things that he has been doing? What are the things that she has been doing that they need to continue doing? And an opportunity for you to affirm them. My personality and temperament has a hard time affirming. Like the words don't come out easily. And yet that's my husband's love language. His love language is words of affirmation. So this is a time for me to even practice that. What are the things that he has been doing that I need to affirm him? You need to keep doing these things. You're doing this so well. He has come back from work. He is tired. He sees that I'm also tired and decides, you know what? Let me shower the babies or let me put them to sleep. Let me read them their bedtime story. Just picking off the load that I, I should have been carrying and carrying it on my behalf. Affirm him. Affirm him for doing that. The I stands for things we need to improve. You're coming back home late consistently. You're missing kids' bedtime. We need to improve that. Or you are you know we're not having tough conversations when something happens you run and hide and we never talk about it so it's breaking our marriage we need to improve that and set strategies in place on how to do that it's easy for date night to have different conversations that are not building you as a couple date night is for the two of you it's not for you and your kids you and the house helps you and work no it's for you as a couple the S stands for things we need to stop doing. Things we need to stop doing that are not serving us. If we are, I don't know, always hanging out with the boys and not having time for, for your wife, stop doing it. What is that thing that your partner is doing that you want them to immediately stop doing because it's damaging your connection as a couple? This is an opportunity for you to say it. And then the second S stands for things we need to start doing things we need to start doing this season is so busy for us we have been married six years and this season is so busy it's easy for us to forget to connect so maybe we need to start having sex twice a, twice a week if you've been having it once or not improve that like what are the things that we are going to do that are going to improve us as a couple maybe we need to have a weekly date night we know that friday every friday we have a date whether we have money or not. If we don't have money, we're going to have a date in-house. Uh, maybe watch a movie and after that maybe talk or have tea together at the balcony. Maybe order in something small. Even if it's just Rolexes, how much is a Rolex? I think like 3K, get 6K or even get just your 3K, buy a Rolex, half it, do tea and connect with your partner. The point is to connect. And there are so many myths around date night and I want to bust them. Number one, 
you don't have to go out to have a date night you can have a date night in your house put the kids to sleep no one no one interrupts let everybody know that this is our time date night friday at 8 p.m is for us no one interrupts if the house is no one is coming to interrupt our time okay um the next myth is we have to have two meals i don't know how many times mark and i have gone to restaurants and shared a meal the thing that is stopping you is pride and ego go order one pizza order two drinks if you're if you're able to afford it sit down and have conversation there's a time mark and i went on a date i think it was in january and we spent less than 50k ugandan shillings that's about how many dollars the next myth i want us to bust about date night is that your husband has to be the one to initiate it it has to be him to plan it he has to be the one to pay for it no 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 the wife can initiate date night the wife can pay for date night i don't know how many times i've paid for date night i don't know how many times mark has paid for date night but the thing is that it's an investment in our marriage it's not just him to invest in our marriage i can invest in our marriage if this is a season where my upkeep is still there and for him he has spent his and i said you know what let me take you out let me invite you today is date day for us and i made an invitation and invited him to date night um i didn't know what restaurant i wanted us to go to so i put the first restaurant that comes to mind let's go there like just try and keep it spicy and different also did you know that tea at sheraton is 6k so for people who like tea go and order one pot of tea two cups <laughs> share that pot of tea but use the opportunity to have constructive conversation with your partner another thing that you can ask is how can i be a better wife how can i be a better husband many times we think that we are doing the best we are acing this wife thing we're acing this husband thing but what does he think the person that you're being a wife to what does he think about your wife thing the person that you're being a husband to what do they think about your husbanding Use the opportunity to evaluate one another and improve your marriage. A date night doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be fancy, and you don't have to talk about your kids and people that are not you. Date night is for the two of you, okay? And stop having shallow conversations. I have shared tips on how to have deep conversations. Those shallow conversations don't build you, you're wasting time and you're wasting money. Also, when we have a culture of date night as a couple, we are showing our kids how to have a healthy marriage, what a healthy marriage looks like. The times that we don't have money, we're still prioritizing our relationship. The times when we are so busy, work is happening, kids are happening, we still prioritize our marriage. It shows them that our marriage is a priority. And when they get married, when they get to that point as well, they will prioritize their marriage. There's a book that I'm reading, um, raising future parents and they say that our kids have a front row seat for 18 plus years to how parenting is done they have a front row seat to how marriage is done and those are the things that are going to inform how they do these things when their time comes so what are you showing them let me know in the comments any other conversation starters for date night things to keep date night spicy we've shared games before now i've shared conversation starters share with me let us learn together let us do life together let's improve our marriages together if you've not yet subscribed please do it now and share this video i'll see you in the next one bye